Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 2017 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport 2LT in Long Beach Metallic Red on Kalahari interior. Uh, so we'll just start over at the rear of the vehicle. Uh, I do have the target top removed, uh, so you can see it there in the trunk area. Uh, it is color matched to the vehicle, as you can see, it's in nice condition. Um, we do have the privacy screen, so there's one piece here and another piece there on the front. Uh, the top does fold up like so, so you can still place some items underneath. Uh, we do have the cargo net that's in place right here. And uh, down in the corner, um, let's see, uh, we've got the... Uh, See, looks like some books, so some miscellaneous books are down there that came with the car, so that's great. And we'll go ahead, we'll lock this back in place, and we'll close the trunk lid. Uh, so it does have soft close, so I just press and it pulls itself shut. We've got the nice carbon flash metallic stage one spoiler on the back. Uh, we've got the carbon flash metallic badge package. It's got uh, shark gray um, inserts around the exterior of the taillights. And then we've got the NPP Performance Exhaust. Uh, so the two outer ports have dampers on them that open and close electronically based on the setting uh, to make the exhaust louder or quieter. So very neat. So we'll just shift around this side here. Uh, this one's got the uh, upgraded chrome wheels on it. Uh, it's got nice Michelin tires and it's the Z07 uh, carbon uh, ceramic brakes uh, with gray Brembo calipers. So super nice, looks awesome. Uh, up top, we do have the uh, color matched vent cover, which is nice. And then down on the front, we've got the uh, uh, carbon flash metallic skirts. Um, so at the passenger door panel, we've got the Kalahari leather um, against the black, which looks nice, as well as the baseball stitching. Uh, it's got the Bose 10 speaker stereo. We've got power locks, power windows, and electronic uh, door releases. Um, so at the passenger seat, we've got power fore aft up down, power recline, lumbar and side bolster adjustments. Um, and I'll just go ahead and scan up the seat so you can see the condition. It does have the competition seats. So there's the nice upgraded seat and it's got the uh, carbon fiber inlay there as well. Uh, so as I get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and clean. Um, we'll have a look here on the glove box. Uh, so we do have the books, those are there. And we've got the nice baseball stitch on the lower portion as well as on the upper portion of the dash. Have a look at the condition while we're here, looks good. And we've got heated and cooled seat controls for the passenger, passenger temperature display, which still has the protective factory sticker on it and um, temperature control for the passenger as well. So we'll hop out and we'll close this side up. And I'll just start at the back of the vehicle and I'll scan along this side of the car so you can see the condition. Looks stunning. And here we are at the front. So again, nice chrome wheels, uh, Z07 uh, carbon ceramic brakes uh, with the Brembo gray calipers and nice Michelin tires. And then to the side, we also have the uh, carbon flash metallic insert with the Grand Sport logo. Uh, so here we are under the hood. We've got the V8 6.2 liter motor, which is 460 horsepower, and that's paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. So lots of power, lots of fun to be had. And down in the corner, we do have the dry sump oil system here. So this is where you top up your oil. There's your dipstick here. And down below, we do have the wire for the uh, magnetic ride control on the Grand Sport. Um, on the top, we've got the embossed Corvette logo. As you can see, it's in really good shape. And we'll go ahead, we'll close the hood. Uh, also take note with the Grand Sport, you do get uh, the rear differential and rear transmission cooler. Um, along with that dry sump oil and uh, with the uh, carbon ceramic brakes, which is really nice. Um, so here we are at the front. Uh, we've got the shark gray insert, which is different. Uh, most, most Corvettes I see have the carbon flash metallic, so that's a, a nice change uh, to see something different. Um, and here's our, our headlights. We've got the nice black housing projector HID headlights, LED turn signals, uh, and LED daytime running lights. Uh, it's got the stage one uh, lower spoiler, uh, which is in really good shape, as you can see. Uh, no marks or issues there with it. Um, and we've got the curb view camera. So there's one right there, and there's one over here on this side. Um, so in terms of issues, I'll just take a close look here at the front of the hood, uh, see if I can find anything. Um, it looks really good. Uh, nothing that I can see. It's not to say there isn't a small stone chip somewhere in there, but uh, there's nothing that jumps out at me. So that's good. So we'll just move around. Here's the other front wheel. So again, nice chrome wheels, uh, carbon ceramic brakes with the Brembo gray calipers and nice Michelin tires. And same thing back here. 
Awesome, so we'll just move on to the driver's door panel. Um, so again, we've got the 10 speaker Bose stereo, we've got our power locks, power windows, uh, two user memory with a programmable exit button, um, and then electronic door release, and that nice Kalahari accenting against the black uh, with the Long Beach red metallic is just great. Um, so here's your kick plate on the uh, driver's side. It's in fantastic shape, as you can see. Um, and here's your power seats. You've got power four aft, up, down, power recline, lumbar, and side bolster adjustments. And I'll just go ahead and scan up that seat so you can see the condition. Looks good. And as I get in, just have a look in the door frame, nice and clean. And let's get in, we'll fire this one up. In terms of kilometers, we have 4,684, so nice and low, no warning lights or issues there on the dash. Uh, we've got our cruise control buttons down here, favorites or track change for the radio. On this side, we've got our volume controls, and up here we've got our arrow keys, which work the dash. Um, so as you can see, the oil has just been changed. I'll just show you when we hit the arrow keys, we get info, performance, audio, phone, nav, and options. And then above that, we have telephone hangup, telephone answer, and voice command controls. We've got paddle shifters plus and minus on this side. And then also on the steering wheel, we've got the nice Kalahari uh, baseball stitch that wraps around, which is a really nice accent. Um, on this side here, we do have the carbon fiber dash. Um, we've got power mirrors. Uh, we've got our heads up display control. We've got trunk release, motion alarm on and off our dimmer switch up here, and our power tilt and telescopic steering column down here. Um, so let me see, I'll turn off the headlights for a moment. We'll brighten that up. There's your uh, heads up display on the windshield. So you can just cycle through some different information. Uh, so that's great. And over on this side, we've got our push button start. Uh, we've got behind screen storage with USB port, uh, audio, so AM, FM, Sirius XM, Bluetooth streaming, USB and auxiliary in. You've got telephone controls, projection is Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. You've got OnStar subscription navigation and you've got your cameras. So there's your front curb view cameras and here's your reverse cameras. And those will come on when you put it in the right uh, gear and right speed. So they're automatic. Um, so as you can see, I'll put it in reverse, there it is. Uh, put it in drive, there's the front cameras. And then just a little bit down below, we've got our temperature control for the driver's side. Um, and right now the two zones are synced together. I've got heated and cooled seat control for the driver here, secondary controls for the passenger over here. And again, there's primary controls over there. Um, we've got our Grand Sport logoing right here. Um, and I'll put it into park. There's your eight speed automatic shifter. Uh, and then we've got um, 12 volt socket. We've got uh, cup holders. And again, oil change has just been done. Um, electronic parking brake and our mode selector. So the mode selector, we get touring, sport, track, uh, it'll wrap around weather, eco, and um, uh, back to touring. So that's controlled there. Um, as you can see, even the button's in super nice shape. But everything looks great, nice and new with 4,600 kilometers. Um, so here's the uh, center armrest. You've got two USB ports and auxiliary line in. And here's your 12 volt socket. Um, have a look at the condition of the leather on here, nice and tight, no wrinkles. And up top, you've got your frameless rear view mirror with auto dimming and auto dimming driver's side mirror. So uh, we'll just hop out now with it running, have a look and a listen. Great bar to it, love the sound. So I'll just show you from the front with the headlights on. Uh, so we haven't polished this car yet, so it, it will look even even better when we're done with it. Um, but it is uh, absolutely stunning to start. So I'll just move along this side here so you can see the condition. Looks fantastic. And we'll just move along the back so you can hear it running. red metallic here and available at MonroeMotors.com. Come on down and have a look at this one for yourself. Look forward to seeing you real soon.